Um, Do you want me to cue it up? What's that? Yeah. Is rest best? <laughs> yeah. Dr. Matt Zoe on Instagram asks, is rest best? <laughs> Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. Any parents out there immediately will know who, what I'm talking about. Daniel Tiger was a character in the original, you know, Mr. Rogers neighborhood. They make a song out of everything to try to make it memorable for the kids that are watching. But I'm not going to sing it, but it's it's <laughs> when you're do? sick. Well, maybe I will sing it. <laughs> when you're sick. No. No, I'm not going to. Uh, rest is best. Rest is best. That's how it goes. So when you're sick, rest is best, which is true most of the time, right? Yeah. Once an injury has been screened to make sure there's no significant uh, you know, emergent need for medical care, mm -hmm. that would be something like a fracture, uh, a large traumatic tear of a, of a tendon or of a connective tissue or something. Once that stuff has been discarded as a possibility, rest is not best. When I say that out loud, I feel like I feel heat a little bit from it because I know that um, I know that some of the people watching that and listening or hearing that phrase will be like, what are you talking about? That's what I've always done. And or, but my doctor and my orthopedist always says to rest it. And unfortunately, um, and maybe we're, we're, we're walking out onto hot waters here, but <laughs> um, unfortunately, I, I think the vast majority of medical literature wholeheartedly disagrees with that premise. Even... Especially in musculoskeletal. Injuries. Yes. Especially yes. musculoskeletal, yeah. which again is a fancy word for muscles, skeletal bones, and orthopedic tendons. problems <laughs> like knee pain and, you know, mm -hmm. tendonitis and all, all that stuff. Right. Um, but um, that, that seems controversial to say that because we have, many of us have grown up with acronyms such as RICE, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Mm -hmm. You sprain your ankle, that's what you do. Right. Um, and they've not ever even heard that the author of that original study has <laughs> since recanted and developed an entirely new acronym called Peace and Love, which uh, I don't remember every <laughs> single word that goes yeah. with those acronyms. But people remember rice. Yeah, people oh. remember rice. It's yeah. easy, right? Uh, peace and Love, though, is much more inclusive of uh, optimal loading is one of them, right? So putting stress on a tissue that is injured early. <laughs> um, these are things that people aren't comfortable with. Um, and yet... Time and time again, we see people needing this stuff because they have already tried resting for weeks and weeks because someone else has already told them that and things haven't gotten better. Things out of our control aside. It takes effort most of the time to accumulate enough stress to injure yourself. Yep. And it takes effort to get yourself out of that issue that you're dealing with also, uh, which is uncomfortable for a lot of people. Uh, but what I hope, and the reason I even want to talk about this, is what I hope it gives people is hope um, that, you know, the rest did not improve their symptoms. My God, what else is happening then is where people's mind often goes. And um, most of the time, you, you need to strategically feed healthy stress to your body for it to actually start to regenerate and to improve and to reduce the pain. Should you do it on your own? You know, uh, Probably not. <laughs> you should probably at least get some guidance from someone who knows what they're talking about in this avenue. Mm -hmm. Over the course of my career so far, it has been uh, an enormous amount of times that I have heard from people saying, this injury happened X amount of months ago, not days ago. <laughs> um, and when I went to the doc, they told me, rest it for four weeks and then come back. And then when I came back and it wasn't really much better, maybe 10, 20%, they said, try this medicine for four weeks and then come back. And then when they tried that, they came back, they said, try this orthopedic specialist and then come back. <laughs> and this cycle, um, quite frankly, is uh, wasteful because there are many better options much sooner in proximity to the actual date of injury that will get you feeling much better than rest and drugs and imaging.